Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gorn. In today's video, we will talk about the law of signs. This law of signs is particularly used in solving oblique triangles. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So first, before we solve a problem for the law of signs, let us discuss first what is the formula used for the law of signs. What we have here is A over sine A is equal to B over sine B is equal to C over sine C. Now, we have here a different version of it wherein we will only flip the given formula or the given fractions wherein the sine A, sine B, and sine C are in the numerator while A, B, and C are in the denominator. But parehas lang yun, kaya don't worry about it. Now, let me discuss first about this formula. This is small letter A, small letter B, small letter C indicates or represents the sides of a given oblique triangle, while this capital A, B, and C represents the angles inside a given triangle. So let's start with this first example. In triangle ABC, we are given angle B, which is 141 degrees. This is angle B. Angle C is 23 degrees, and A is 9 units. The length of side A is 9 units. What we have here, the problem is, find angle A, or the measurement of angle A, side B, and side C. Uh, kung ano yung tinuturo sa mga bata ko ito, first, we will try to list down all the different parts or all the six parts of a given triangle. I'm starting with the angles. For the angles, let's start with letter A, angle B, and angle C. So, in the given problem, it is already given that we have angle B as 141 degrees and for angle C, which is 23 degrees. Now, this will be the missing angle. So we will put a question mark here for us to be reminded that we need to solve for A. And next, after the three angles, we will list down the three different sides. We have side A, side B, and side C. Now, sir, how can we determine where's the location of the three different sides? Ngayon, ang reference natin are the given angles. Here, A is 9 units, meaning this is side A. So what is the basis? Since this one is angle A, your side A is opposite to your angle A. If this is angle A, automatically this is side A. Now, sir, what about side B? If this is your angle B, automatically this is your side B. Side, angle C, this is your side C. So what we have here is 9 for the value of A, and we are missing the value of side B or the length of side B and side C. But let's get started. For this part, we will start with the angle. Okay? Yung angle ang unahin natin, kasi yun ang pinakamadali. Now, for us to be faster sa mismo calculation natin, we will use this Casio calculator wherein we will solve first for angle A. Ang formula natin for angle A is angle A is equal to 180 degrees minus yung sum ng dalawang to, angle B plus angle C. Your angle A is still missing 180 degrees minus yung ating angle B plus angle C that is 141 plus tinan niyo buti ah plus 23 degrees so that is 164 degrees so natin ngayon subtract natin 180 minus 180 minus 164 our answer is 16 degrees Meaning, your angle A is 16 degrees. As easy as that. So this is 16. Let me use another ink or another color for the answer. 16 degrees. Now, ang kulang na lang natin ay yung dalawang sides which is side B and side C. Bear with me kasi medyo explain ko talaga sa inyo yung problem. Ha? Okay? Start tayo. For... Side B, ito ha, 
For side B, ang gagawin natin dito para mahanap natin sa side B is we will check anong mga letters yung kompleto na. Okay, kasi out of these three formulas, dalaw lang na pwede nyo gamitin dyan. Hindi pwede sabay-sabay. Ngayon, since meron na tayong angle A and side A, meaning we will definitely use A over sine A. Okay? Para mahanap si side B sa si side C. Sir, paano pang pairing yan? To solve for solve for side B ting gagawin natin use this you have A over sine A is equal to eto, gamitin natin to because we need to find B B over sine B sir, ang tanong uh, pwede mo natin gamitan yung C over sine C instead of A over sine A Hindi pwede Kasi pag ginamit mo yung dalawang to May dalawang variable na kulang Or nawawala So hindi pwede yan So dapat ang criteria nyo To choose the two different ratios Sa formula na gagamitin natin Dapat one of them Is already complete Okay So substitute natin mga values Your A is 9 Over your sine A Sine 100, ah, sorry, 16 degrees is equal to your B. You have your B, eh? Adjust natin on the paper. B. Your B is missing over sine. Your B is 141 degrees. So, we will cross-multiply. Ako, lagi ako nag-start ng pag-cross-multiply dito sa ano. Sa may missing variable. So, that would be B, B ha, sine 16 degrees is equal to, next na cross multiply natin this one, yan, and that would be 9 sine 141 degrees. So what's next? Ang target natin is makuha yung B, meaning we need to cancel this out. By dividing both sides by 60, uh, sine 16 degrees over sine 16 degrees. So, dito makakancel na natin to guys. Oh. Cancel, cancel. And as you can see, meron na tayo itong B. So, we have here our B. Which is equal to, check natin kung what is the value of B. So, ang gagawin nyo dito, huwag nyo na pahirapin yung sarili nyo. Ang gagawin nyo dito guys, so that you will directly use the calculator. Input nyo lang to lahat. Try natin ha. So we have 9 sine 141. 9 sine 141. Okay. Divided by sine 16. Okay. So you can see, meron tayong sagot. 20.54831611. Ngayon, akong ginagawa ka dito, I'm just getting the one decimal place value. So I will stop with 20... Point five units. Ito yung mismo sagot natin dito guys. This is the length of side B. Pero, uh, let me give you uh, an exact answer. Since we, you know, we rounded off the decimal, lagyan natin natin dito ng ano, approximately. Yan. Meaning, your B is approximately 20.5 units. 20.5 units. Okay? Kaya siya approximate dahil hindi siya sakto. Now, let's move on with the other missing part, which is letter C. So, ang gagawin natin dito, solve for C. Solve for C. Gamitin nyo ulit A over sine A. A over sine A is equal to this one. C over sine C. This is 9 over sine 16 degrees is equal to your C is still missing over sine. Your C is 23 degrees. Cross multiply ulit tayo guys. Ito unahin natin. Okay. Meaning we have C sine 
16 degrees is equal to cross multiply ulit ito okay this is 9 sine 23 degrees ito same thing na gagawin natin dito we need to divide this by sine 16 to then by sine 16 degrees so we can cancel this out so as you can see we have C tapos input mo lang ulit sa calculator itong mga to um, 9 sine 23 degrees divided by sine 16 degrees so this is the answer the answer is this one so round off natin this is approximately 12.8 units so yeah, guys this one is 12.8 units so I hope guys you learned something from this video and if you want to follow me on my social media accounts just subscribe to this channel at ito yung Facebook page ako si Teacher Gon again guys if you're new to my channel don't forget to like and subscribe but hit na rin yung bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads again it's me Teacher Gon Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!